This time, I'm going to talk about the relationship and the difference between Pearson and Spearman correlation. What is correlation? Correlation is a statistic that measures the degree to which two variables move in relation to each other. Please keep in mind, correlation measures association but doesn't show if x causes y or vice versa. For example, if we have two variables, x and y, and they have positive correlation, that doesn't mean x causes y or y causes x. Okay, let's take a look at Pearson's correlation first. Pearson's correlation can be used to measure linear relationship. This is how we calculate Pearson's correlation. First, we will calculate covariance between two vectors. And then, we will use this covariance divided by the standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y to calculate rho. The Greek letter rho is often used to denote Pearson's correlation. Let's take a look at some sample data. In this graph, the linear relationship between x and y is quite obvious. As x increase, y also increases. So the Pearson correlation is 0 0.7. In this graph, although we also have this tendency, but it is not that obvious. So the Pearson correlation is 0 0.3. And in this graph, we cannot find any tendency, any linear relationship between x and y. So the Pearson correlation is zero. And if y value decreases as x increases, we will have negative Pearson correlation. In this graph, it's very obvious, so the Pearson correlation is negative 0.7. In this graph, similarly, is minus 0.3 because the relationship is not that obvious. And the last one, similar to this one, we cannot see any tendency between x and y then the Pearson correlation is zero. Now, let's check out Spearman correlation coefficient. In Pearson's correlation, we are checking linear relationship. But in the Spearman correlation, we use rank correlation. And it is a non-parametric measure of rank correlation. It assesses how well the relationship between two variables can be described using a monotonic function. What is a monotonic relationship? It is a relationship that does one of the following. If we have two variables, if one variable increases, another variable also increases. Or one variable increases, another variable decreases. If the two variables have linear relationship, the rate of increase or decrease is constant. But when we use Spearman correlation coefficient, we don't care about 
if the rate is constant. As long as one variable increases along with another variable, or one variable decreases along with another variable, and then we will say they have a perfect Spearman correlation. Let's take a look at some graphs in order to understand it better. In this graph, as x value increases, the y value also increases, although sometimes y value increases faster and sometimes slower, but the trend didn't change. So this is a monotonically increasing function. In this graph, as x value increases, y value decreases, although sometimes faster, sometimes slower, but the trend remains the same. So this is a monotonically decreasing function. In this graph, as x value increases, y value decreases sometimes and increases sometimes. So this function is not monotonic. We use this formula to calculate Spearman correlation. n is the number of data points of the two variables. Di is the difference in ranks of the elements. And the Spearman coefficient rho can take a value between positive 1 to negative 1. If rho is positive 1, it means it is a perfect association of the rank. That means when x increases, y also increases. If rho is 0, that means no association of ranks. And if rho is negative 1, means perfect negative association between ranks, like I showed here in this graph. Now, let's compare Pearson correlation and the Spearman correlation. In this case, the relationship is linear. So, Pearson correlation is positive 1, and the Spearman coefficient also positive 1. In this graph, it is not linear relationship. So the Pearson is positive 0 0.851. But if you use Spearman, this is monotonic increasing function. So it is positive 1. In this graph, it's hard to see the trend of the data points. So, Pearson correlation and Spearman correlation is similar value. It's negative 0 0.093. Basically, there's no relationship between X and Y. In this case, similar to this relationship, the Pearson is negative 1, and Spearman correlation is negative 1 as well, because this is linear relationship, although it's a negative relationship. In this case, because it is not linear relationship, the Pearson will be negative 0 0.799, and Spearman is negative 1 because this is monotonically decreasing relationship.
In this video, I'm going to analyze the relationship between life expectancy and the country's GDP per capita. I have data downloaded from internet. We have country here and we have year. And then we have a population and the continent. All those two variables are not used in data analysis. And then we have life expectancy and we have a GDP per capita. For example, for the UK in 1952, the life expectancy is about 69 and GDP per capita is 9979 dollars. Now let's go to Python and try to calculate Pearson correlation and Spearman correlation. First I've read the data from the internet and then I'll get the data for GDP per capita and the life expectancy. And then I'll calculate Pearson correlation. And after that, I'm going to calculate Spearman correlation. In order to understand our results, I will draw a graph to show the data. Let's run the program. I printed out several lines just in order to show you. I read the data. For example, this is GDP per capita and this life expectancy. And the Pearson correlation is 0 0.58 something. And the Spearman correlation is 0 0.826 something. You can see the Spearman correlation is higher than the Pearson correlation. As I said before, because Pearson correlation is considering linear relationship and the Spearman correlation is considering the rank relationship. If we draw a graph here, you can see, although there is a trend that as the GDP per capita increases, the life expectancy also increases, but the relationship is not linear. So to a certain point, even the GDP per capita increases a lot, the life expectancy doesn't increase a lot because this is not a linear relationship so the Pearson correlation is lower than the Spearman correlation and as the Spearman correlation is only considering the ranking so this is looks like a monotonic function. So the Spearman correlation is 0 0.826 is pretty high, much higher than the Pearson correlation. This is my explanation about Pearson correlation and the Spearman correlation. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.